Good morning everyone. It's good to have you company this morning. I don't know about you but I've been very encouraged and uplifted by things that I've seen on emails, on YouTube, on Facebook and lots of people have been passing things around and they've been encouraged and they want to encourage other people but also there have been those reality checks haven't there every day on the news. It's day 26 of 40 Days with Jesus and today we're looking at John chapter 21 and verses 15 to 17. And we can see that Peter had a reality check as well as lots of encouragement. I read the passage now. When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you truly love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Again, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you truly love me? He answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. The third time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him the third time, Do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, Feed my sheep. The three times that Jesus asked Peter if he loves him would have brought to mind those three times that Jesus was denied by Peter before the crucifixion and Peter must have been feeling pretty rubbish, full of guilt, wanting to apologise, not quite sure how to go about it, not quite sure what words to use and Jesus takes the initiative and he teases out to Peter the fact that he does truly love him but when it came to the crunch before the crucifixion the spirit was willing but the flesh was weak and I think we've all been there, haven't we? We could all probably recognise something of ourselves in this situation. And would we like Peter to get a bit annoyed or a bit upset by being asked the same question three times over? But the love and forgiveness that Jesus showed him in trusting him to do his work and to feed his people with the gospel, with the good news, with the word of God, was restorative. Now Peter had earlier said that he would lay down his life for Jesus, but Jesus predicted that he would disown him three times, and yes, Peter did disown him three times. But he also eventually laid down his life for him when he went off and preached the gospel in the face of such opposition and he was crucified upside down. Peter had been ransomed, healed, restored, forgiven. As we have. Jesus loves us and holds us in the palm of his hand. In Isaiah 49 it says, I will not forget you. I have held you in the palm of my hand. I was given by a friend this lovely little China model of a hand and in the palm of this hand is a child. And this, the meaning of behind it, it gives comfort and it gives security and the knowledge that you are held. don't know if any of you have been able to listen to and watch the video of the blessing. It's amazing. And I would like to finish with some of the words at the end of this song. May his favour be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children. 
May his presence go before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you. He is with you. He is with you. In the morning and the evening, in your coming and your going, in your weeping and rejoicing, he is for you. He is for you. He is for you.